Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the network days INTL function. Now the network days uh, INTL function, what it can do for you, it can find out the number of days between the two dates, considering the number of holidays in between and the weekends as well. Let's take a look at a case here. We have a start date here and we have an end date here. And between the start date and the end dates, the first thing that we will witness is that there could be a weekend pattern where the employees don't work. So it could be a Saturday, Sunday, it could be an only Sunday or maybe, you know, some other type of a weekend as well. The other thing that we will encounter is that we can also have some holidays in between. Considering the weekends, considering the holidays, how many actual working days do we work on a project between the start date and the end date is something that you can find with network days. Let's see. So I'm going to write equals to network days INTL. INTL stands for international. I'll just explain to you what this means in a more detailed manner in a moment. So network days INTL, the first input is start date. So this is my start date. And the second input is my end date. This is my end date. The third input is the weekend pattern. So as soon as you move over to the third input, it shows you a couple of patterns that you can select for picking up the work uh, the weekend. So right now, by default, this is Saturday, Sunday. You can also pick up Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All you have to do is pick up the index number for that. So let's say I'm picking up Sunday and Monday. So I'm just going to pick up two for that. And the holidays, you can just select this range. These ranges are there as holidays. Close the bracket, press enter, and you will have 265 days which are working. Now, if for instance, your holiday and your weekends clash, they come on the same day, that will be counted, counted as one day, not two days. So we, the uh, function automatically takes care of that. Um, I also promised you that I will explain to you what this means, INTL. In the earlier versions of Excel, I think Excel 2007, you only had network days, not network days INTL. In, the, in network days, you had the option of start date, end date and holidays. There was no option of weekend. The weekend was by default as one, which is a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, I have also mentioned all the weekend arguments here. You can take a look here as well. So those were the network days INTL and the network days function. Um, I hope you liked the video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and on YouTube and read our blogs at gulli.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.